Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week, I've really tried hard to focus on different theologies and beliefs that we have as Christians that start in one place, but totally get changed, transformed, and evolve over time into other places. And a lot of times I've pointed to the Bible and said, let's, let's talk about what the biblical text says. Because so much of the biblical text needs to be unpacked from the time it was written as well as from the time it's read. And there's so many disconnects between those two times. Even the way that we look at the Bible should be an understanding of changing times. Do you think that the church at Corinth, when they first received the letter of 1 Corinthians from Paul, thought to themselves, Oh, this is a word from God. No, they didn't. What they heard was a letter from their pastor, Pastor Paul, who had started the church, who was trying to help them on the course. Do you think that the writers of the Old Testament, whether it was Moses or the various voices within the first five books, or maybe the theological historians of 1 and 2 Samuel and 1 and 2 Kings, do you think that they thought to themselves, one of these days, someone in a far off world is going to read this and they're going to say, this is the word of God. They didn't have that understanding. They didn't see the inspiration of the word as some miracle that was happening at that moment. Instead, that's something that's developed over time with our experience with the story that God gives us in this wonderful library that God gives us. God inspires today. It's not that this is the inspired word, as if it happened in the past and no longer is happening. It is the inspiring word. This is where I've come to in my evolution of faith. It's when I open this text and encounter God's Spirit reading with me that I begin hearing whispers of grace, moments of, of sitting on God's lap like a child, watching him turn the pages and tell me again how much he loves me and encouraging me to be better, encouraging me to be a person of faith, encouraging me to see the world through his eyes rather than through my own. You see, our understanding of the Bible has changed over time. At one point, it was a gathering group of letters from a pastor that was beloved, as well as gospel stories about a savior in an older text that we borrowed from another religion, Judaism. And then it became more than that. Then it became the rule, the word. Then it became the, 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 the text that we strive to create the world around. Today in our postmodern era, I believe it's becoming more what it was at first. It's becoming the story that God consistently tells us over and over again, sharing with us his vision, the divine vision for the kingdom of God, the world, to be sh changed and shifted and, and transformed into something better. Take time to read the Bible. Don't read it the same way you'd read a romance novel or a history book or a science book. Read it by inviting the Holy Spirit to encounter you in it and to take you places so that where you are isn't where you end up. This whole week I've been sharing things that have changed and evolved over time as beliefs and understandings. Christianity is about change, is about transformation. And this includes our understanding of the biblical text. Let us move forward in hearing God speak as we experience him in new and old, as we experience him in word. Amen.